Hi, welcome to Tuesday Tales. Today I have a story from Japan. And this is what reminded me to tell this story, this little paper parasol. And if you're not familiar with the word parasol, it's like an umbrella, but it's only meant to keep off the sun instead of the rain. And long ago in Japan, there was a priest who really loved tea and he collected all sorts of teapots and instru instruments and utensils for making tea. And one day when he was out, he saw in an old shop, an old rusty iron teapot. And he took it home and he cleaned all the rust off, made it all shiny. And he called his pupils around and he said, all right, now I'm going to make this, heat up some water and make us a delicious cup of tea. And that's what he did. He made a little fire and a charcoal burner and he filled the little teapot with cold, clear water and he put it on to boil. And just when the water began to boil, something strange happened. The tea kettle got up on four little badger feet and a little badger head popped out of one side and a bushy badger tail popped out of the other side and it jumped off the fire and ran around the room going hot, 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 hot. Well, the priest didn't want the little tea kettle to get away and he said, run after it, catch it. And the two pupils jumped up and one got a broom and one got the fire tongs and they chased that little badger teapot all around the temple until they'd gotten it into a corner and then pop, 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 away went the little badger head and away went the bushy badger tail and the little badger feet. And it was just a little teapot sitting in a corner. Well, the priest went and picked it up and he said, this must be a, a haunted or bewitched teapot. We, we can't have it sitting around our temple. And he went out into the street right away and called over the junk man who was happening by. And he said, I need to get rid of this. How much will you pay me for it? And the junk man saw it. it's a very beautiful little iron teapot. And he weighed it and he said, I think I can give you a good price. And he gave the priest some coins and took the little teapot away with him. Well, that night when the junk man was sleeping, he suddenly heard a little voice by his head saying, Mr. Junk man. Mr. Junkman. And when he opened his eyes, there right beside his pillow was a little teapot that had a badger head and a bushy badger tail and four little badger feet. And the little badger teapot said, I'm very hungry. So the junk man, who was a kindly sort of person, got up and got some delicious rice cakes and gave them to the little teapot. And the badger teapot said, oh, thank you. I was so hungry. And I had to run away from the temple because they put me on the fire and it was very, very hot. But if you promise not to put me on the fire ever and feed me delicious rice cakes, I will help you make a fortune. And the junk man said, well, I'm happy to give you food and I certainly won't put you over the fire, but how could you make my fortune? And the little badger teapot said, well, I can do all sorts of tricks. And all you have to do is tell people and then sell tickets and they can watch me doing my tricks. And so that's what they did. The next day, the junk man built a little theater in the back of his house and he got a drum and walked up and down the street, banging on the drum. He said, come see the amazing badger and his tricks. And people came from far and near to see that little teapot do tricks. And the one that they liked the best was when the little badger would walk out onto the tightrope with a paper parasol in one hand and a fan in the other. And he would balance and balance and walk along the tightrope and sometimes jump up and down and do other tricks. And people would just applaud and throw coins and it was wonderful. And the junk man and the little badger teapot did this for many years. 
and the junk man grew very rich. And one day he said, I have all the money I need. Surely you're getting tired of doing all this work and doing all the tricks and performing day after day. And the little badger teapot said, well, yes, I think I could use a rest. Maybe you could take me back to the temple if they promise not to put me on the fire. And so that's what they did. The junk man took the little teapot back to the temple and explained to the priest that really they shouldn't put him on the fire and that they should feed him delicious rice cakes. And that's just what they did. And to this day, that little teapot is in the treasure room of that temple. And that's the end of the story.